Hi guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing The Flywheel by Erin Co. and I probably said that wrong and I am so so sorry. Now I was sent this book in exchange for a honest review from the publishers over at Hardy Grant Egmont so thank you very much Hardy Grant for sending this to me. I very much appreciate it. And The Flywheel is a YA novel and it is actually set in Australia in Sydney to be precise. Now the day that I had got this book I was actually wondering what I was going to read and then this turned up in the mail and so I decided to read this one first. And I absolutely really like this book and I read it in one day. I probably could have read it in one sitting but I had stuff to do throughout the day so I would kind of find myself reading bits and pieces throughout the day and I honestly meant for it like to have it for a longer time but I just read it that quickly. It was definitely a very fast paced I just needed to know what was going to happen in the story kind of read. So this book is about Delilah who is 17 and her life is kind of hectic at the moment. Her dad is on holiday an overseas holiday and he's left her in charge of running at the cafe while he's away and also she She's got school on top of that. And things at school for Delilah aren't really great. Del likes girls and after a misguided crush on one of the more popular girls at the school, Del starts to get relentlessly teased. She's called things like Lizzo and Dyke and just school isn't really the greatest of times for her at the moment. Running the cafe is turning out harder than she thought. She finds that she has to do it basically by herself and she's just not having a great time and her only escapism really is to watch Rosa, a beautiful girl, dance. Del has had this crush on Rosa for a while now and has watched Rosa dance nearly every night. And Del wants to approach Rosa but things are a bit harder than she seems and she just doesn't know how to approach her, especially after her last crush that kind of went wrong. I think this is a lovely coming of age story. And it's also the author's first debut novel. She's written other short stories before but this is her first actual novel and it was done really well. I love that it was set in Sydney, Australia as I think that not many books are set in Australia and are written in Australia and are very good. I just don't tend to like them as much but this one was really really great. I love representing Australian authors especially when they're great and this one was just fantastic. Also we do need more diversity in YA and this just bring it you know. In YA there are a lot of just normal straight heterosexual couples and it's great to see something different and I love when it's done well and this was done fantastically. There's a lot of character development in here not only for Del but for our best friend Charlie and Rosa and all these other side characters that are just fantastic and you can't help but really feel for all of them. The author does a fantastic job of making every character feel special and important and you just can't help but want to know what's going to happen with everyone. I really like the story, it was just really heartwarming and time sad and I just couldn't help but fall in love with Del. She had a, made her mistakes and everything but she was a flawed character and that was great, I love that about her and I just felt a lot of feels for Del. Also this cover is just really pretty, hopefully you can see that. But it's just really simplistic and gorgeous and as you can see there's Rosa dancing and Dal and I don't know I just really like this simple but really pretty cover. I absolutely adore this book. I think it's a really important adorable YA book that you should definitely be checking out. And I rated it 3.5 to 4 stars. Um, for Goodreads sake, 4 stars. So we'd love to know in the comments below if you do plan to read this book. I myself, if I hadn't have been sent this, would have gone out and bought it because I just thought it was an adorable story that I know I just think is really important. And like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to see more book related videos from me and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!